and the final thing is and the blade encoder uh, that console is called onboard administrator and the blade server console is called ILO integrated lightout and uh, this is the blade enclosure uh, console and uh, from here we can see the information here on the this is the front side this is the back side In the front side it has first it shows that 16 servers are populated and uh, bottom side is the power power supply and uh, here fan cooling system the next one is ethernet uh, management ethernet uh, module and the second ethernet module and the next one is infinite band module so if you want to know about the details if you just click this you will get the information on the left hand side but we will get all this and the information from here and everything if you want to see about the infinite uh, ethernet ethernet interface here we can see the information from here and this one is for infinite band network this is for infinite band infinite band totally it has a 16 ports uh, 19 to 34 so it is 16 ports ports are populated and this one is active onboard administrator module this active on onboard administrator module console and uh, this one what is this and regarding from enclosure related information we can get it from here if you want to take the particular uh, device remote console you can just click here and just click ILO you can just click integrated light out management it will open the new window just confirm it just redirect to this one. this type of the particular uh, system from system information you'll get the about the system or then overview about you will get the about the server details everything what is the product name and uh, I love firmware everything will get it from here after that from system information we will get the uh, all the health st status bio status fan status temperature power processor memory network storage everything will get it from here itself about the health so if any node is going down first we can take the console of this uh, particular node and we will check the health status itself before troubleshooting and if you want to take out the remote soul you can click it here from here we can take it if you click 
click here you click here you will get it from here 